I just unboxed a package that we got from Amazon and it is a Wolfwise camping a shower or a potty room or to change clothes you know privacy so let me get it out of this plastic and set it up it comes in a nice carry case you can actually wear it like a backpack if you wanted to it's got a carry handle and it zips up Now I'm going to take it out of the case. Good morning my YouTube friends. Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. The rain finally got out of here and we're going to have a pretty day today. So I wanted to show you a little more of that uh, privacy tent that we purchased. And I'm going to set it up and show y'all how uh, it sets up and talk a little bit about it. I've got a couple things going this uh, out here this morning. I've got my solar panels hooked up, although they're in the shade right now. <laughs> Trying to put a little charge to my uh, battery. And uh, I may have to extend my hose on my shower. But we're going to find out here in a little bit. One of the first things I'm going to talk about is I ran into a problem with my propane extension hose. I bought an adapter hose so I can run my buddy heater and I can run my Coleman stove and I also I have a barbecue grill that I run off of uh, my 20 pound bottle instead of the little one pound bottles and I tried using my uh, grill the other day and I couldn't get it going uh, so I'd start doing a little research I thought my hose was bad and what I found out is when you use those extension adapter hoses you need to turn your gas on slowly and let it slowly build pressure up in that line in fact I go ahead and turn the valve on on the stove or the grill you know whatever you have because you know, it hooks up to the regulator here and then to the stove but I go ahead and I turn the knob on and let it to where gas can escape and then I turn the gas on on the bottle until I hear it just slightly hissing coming out of the burner. And then I light it. That way I know that everything's pressurized. I guess if you turn it on too fast, it trips the, the valve in here or something. I'm not sure exactly how it works. But I did bring the same hose back out. Hooked it up to all my gas appliances and everything worked as long as I turned that valve on nice and slow. So hopefully that's all it was. I've already got my shower hose hooked up to my solar shower I made. Now I actually think I have future plans to come on back here, cut this cap off, and put a 90 right there go all the way across to the other side and then come back down with another one of these on that side and that will double a little over double my water supply uh, and as long as i'm pressurizing with the air pump you know i shouldn't have no problem getting all the water out of it but that'll give me a little more uh water su supply I got me my Bucky sticker when we went on our trip the other day. That video is, uh, what, one, two, two videos back from the last video I posted. Uh, that was a fun trip. I got me a Jack Link sticker. My wife brought me this one. I just thought it was funny. She did too. And she brought me, I think she brought me this one. But I thought this little hose was a cool place to stick them. And of course she brought me this one here. Look out for forklifts. In the forest, y'all. Okay. But anyway, uh, I've got the tent laying over here. And I'm going to go put my camera on the tripod so y'all can watch me set that thing up. Okay, I think y'all will be able to see me. It's getting kind of warm out here, so I'm going to take my jacket off.
wolf wise shower. Just unzip it. Pull it out of the bag. It has this band around it to hold it together. We're just gonna come over here. Look around so you can see I have to pull the center out. Pretty much there it is. Uh, I do suggest you stay a little further away from your vehicle when you pop it up so you don't hit it. But uh, you see how tall it is? This hose is ain't going to reach. But I'm wondering, let me grab y'all. I am wondering. Oh no, I was gonna say, maybe I can bring it through this back glass, but it's got a screen, so you can't go, it's not passed through. It is passed through on the top, but not the back glass. And I guess while we're in here, you know, I was showing you, there's your hook to hold up your uh, shower nozzle. This is to hold up your little flap on your window up here. You have a pocket here for your soap and shampoo and stuff. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hole punch and I'm gonna punch a couple of hose for water to drain out. Why they didn't do that, I don't know. But we will put a couple of hose there for water drain. Uh, in the floor, this one does have a floor and I wanted a floor uh, on purpose. Uh, you may think this is crazy, but as long as this thing's zipped up, a snake ain't gonna crawl up in here while you're out hiking the woods and you come back and un undo the door and boom, there's a snake in there. Uh, that'll keep in some insects because the netting, it has decent sized holes there. Uh, but like I said, it, it does have a floor and it should keep snakes and critters and stuff like that. From getting in here when it's all closed up you also have a towel band right here or a band to hold some stuff another reason I wanted this one is you can see this is silver on the inside and it's black on the outside this is lined and it's supposed to keep from casting shadows say you have a light in there at night while you're taking a shower. If it wasn't lined and while you're in there, people that walk by would see your silhouette while you're in there doing whatever you're doing. And this one's not supposed to uh, pronounce a shadow like that. You can also, another reason I wanted this one is you'll see a bunch of them, the door zips like this and then down one side and across the bottom. This is a T, upside down T door. So you got zippers on both sides. It'd be easier to zip if it was staked down. It comes with the stakes. You stake it down at all four corners. But you got your T and then one down in the middle. But you don't have to unzip all of it. You could just do a little bit and be able to get in and out. Now it does have the door ties. So you can tie the doors back if you need to. And it does have the hooks here. A little over halfway up on all four corners that you can string it off for support. Now I have this rod that I put in my truck rack that goes up and it swings over the top of it. 
for two purposes. I can tie the top off to that rod so that'll help support it in the wind. And I, if I have a longer hose, I can also run my hose up across that pipe and then hang it down in the top of this and it'll keep it from resting on the top of this. So the tent won't be supporting the water hose, that pipe wheel. And it's pretty simple. Uh, I'd actually put this pipe in my rack uh, because we was it had an extension that I could raise up and then there's another one up front and we would raise those up and my tarp eyelets would slide on top and we would have a porch or a canopy coming off of the side of the truck and we could actually make a, a room and that used to be what we would you know use for our uh, porta potty and you know probably changing clothes and stuff like that uh, it took a little bit of time to set that up it did work uh, it didn't look real good uh, this uh, is one reason uh, we purchased this is it looks a lot better it's really quick to set up and uh, it'll give us the privacy we need for showers and the porta potty and changing clothes so uh it don't take up a lot of space hauling it either, so I really like that about it. But yeah, I was at first thinking that I could bring my water hose into this back window and hook it on the hook. But since this doesn't come unzipped, I'm going to have to extend my hose, which is not a big deal. Sometimes uh, I could use the bigger hose anyway. So I guess that's gonna have to be the next thing. Uh, and like I said, this goes up and down. There's a, a hook up there that I can actually hook that into to help support the top of this from rocking a little bit. And I can wrap my hose around this. And that just, I can just pull this out and put it in the truck bed when I wanna haul it. And when I'm using my solar shower, I use my Stanley Fat Max to pressurize it by shower right here. And uh, I'm, even with the tent popped up, I have room that I can just set that Fat Max right here on this little ledge with it hooked up to that. And you can, you know, operate all the controls right here. So that works really good too. But I just wanted to show you all this, kind of give you an idea of what we're doing with it. And it should work really good. And this mat down here, we used to have one of those Walmart salsa spas. I think it's a Coleman salsa spa. And that was the mat that went underneath it. Well, the salsa spa, after about two, two and a half years, finally deteriorated and I started having problems with the pump so we just trashed it but I went ahead and kept this mat that went under it because I figured it would come in handy you know to put underneath a tin or something like this this is gonna work out good because you'll be able to take your flip flops off and just leave them on the mat out here and they should stay clean and you also can kind of dust your feet off a little bit I could actually pull this forward some, have a little more porch area, mat area. But uh, I'm glad I kept it. Uh, we'll be able to get some use out of that. But uh, once I get my hose extended here, I'll go ahead and make more video of how I've got it in there and actually show y'all water uh, running into the shower. So for right now, I'm gonna have to call this a, a Paul's place uh, like I said until I get my longer hose hooked up okay I had old hose laying around that I'm hoping will work for now if it don't look too bad I'll pick a new one up next time I'm at the store and uh, I want it to be a little bit long get a little I got a train coming but I got it hooked up. I'm gonna turn the valve on. And 
Now, I'm gonna come around to this side. Okay, let's go up to about 12 pounds pressure. Compressor on. <laughs> Shower. I'm trying not to get too wet. But. I could crank that out more if I wanted to, but I don't want to get wet right now. And I got the porta potty in here, and you don't have to worry about it getting wet. Some of my hose are clogged up. I'm gonna have to clean this end out a little bit. But as you can see, you know, it works. And the water eventually just run out that webbing down there. If there's plenty of room, you can leave your porta potty in here. Good way to wash it off. Now that porta potty I've had for years and years and years, and it's still working, but I am thinking about replacing it. And then this, you just flip this to shut that off. That'll track some dirt in. I say I need to unclog the holes in my shower head. I'm fixing to do that. But as you can see, this this works fine. You can get in there and wash hands free. And then when you're done, you know, you don't rinse off. You just unhook it up there and you, you hose off. Which to save water, you wet down. Then you turn it off. Okay, then you hose, I mean, you hose. Then you soap up, you know, scrub up, and then you turn it back on and rinse off. That way you're not wasting a lot of water. But this will work great. You just empty the water out of it. Probably easier just to unstake it and put it back down. Anyway, let's turn this presser off. I'll unscrew it here in a minute. That thing's been used a lot. I keep waiting for it just to quit any day. But anyway, that's our shower, and that'll work great.